Distel is last, and remember this is the Stellenbosch based marketer of wines, flavoured alcoholic beverages, brands like Kliptriff, Niederberg, and then they also bought an interesting business called Boonarvon, which was actually, well the brand was, which was a Scottish whiskey blender. So it's got a bit going on. Richard Rushton runs this company from down there. Remember, it came from the merger of Distillers Corp and Stellenbosch Farmers yeah, Winery back in the day. SAB Miller has got a big chunk in it that it is now apparently forced to yes, sell. It's got we to must sell. get an update on that. But 36.6 billion rands worth of market cap. Price to earnings ratio 22.44. Dividend yield 2.3%. So what does that mean? That means a 34% stake is available. to be in, in the market, yeah. Well, don't you think the other holder of it, which is Remgro, is going to might want try to and increase, grab it? They might want to increase the stake. I've heard nothing else more on that, mm. whether they're going to do a deal with Rembrandt or Because it was the just South African it Competition the Authorities that Correct. said they must sell this if AB and yeah. Bev gets it all. Yeah, Interesting. Which, which didn't really make any sense, but I suppose they <laughs> had to do something. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, <laughs> didn't make any sense because it is what AB it is. AB isn't yeah. And what does it matter if they earn thirty four percent stake in it? Yeah. So, so anyway, they got to unbundle it. Yeah. So that's going to be unbundled. The last I heard, which which uh, there might be further updates, is that mm. they were just going to do a general sale into the market over time, like a book build. Yeah. So not an unbundling in the sense no, of like passing no, the no, shares on not to the existing there's, holders. There's not an unbundling. This thing has suffered from limited liquidity, though. That yes, is an there issue. is there is no liquidity, so this will help. Let's have a look at the share price. It was quite volatile at times because it's well, really no quite trade. tough to get hold of. Yeah. That's because like 85% of the shares belong to those two parties. Correct. So Remgro, of course, is the one and uh, SAB Miller is the other. Now that will have to go. Yeah. Yeah. So the brands themselves, though, the company's done very well. Yeah, they've done very well. And this is a very good Rand Hedge. They were surprising enough quite optimistic about the South African market. They seem to mm. have done quite well in the South African market despite the state of the consumer. Yeah. But in their outlook, they say, you know, the general unhappiness of the SA consumer mm. should Im negatively impact mm. on their results. But the last results were actually quite favorable. And they do have good global reach in the sense yes. that they're taking things like Amarula and Kliptriff and so on, Global yeah. and Three Ships and, and it so is, on. I mean, and, and, yeah. all, and a lot of the wines exports, so it's actually a yeah. very good yeah. Rand Hedge stock. Yeah. I actually, actually quite, quite like it. Hot or not? No, not with this share overhang. You've got to see where that finds a home. Oh, that I would, I would be a little bit cautious until you see where this goes. Mm. But I actually like the company mm. and I, I would, under normal circumstances if you could actually buy the share. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go hot just because I do like the company and I like to reward those operations when that uh, arises. So, but just subject to the caveats that Wayne is listing. Right.